She's such a fan favorite. People love this character that they kind of want to root for her. For us, we thought, well, that idea of Harley, that's been pretty well explored in a lot of places. So we thought, well, what happens if we take her the other way? Oh, I gotta be zany, I'm your manic pixie. Like, like she doesn't need to be the manic pixie anymore. She is kind of gotten to a point where she knows who she is. She has a very clear sense of what her identity is. She's going to present herself in this much stronger, kind of developed supervillain way. Kind of inspires Harley to say, well, why don't I, why don't I finally get to have my career as a supervillain? on my own, I have all sorts of ideas. I'm a brilliant psychiatrist. Like there's all sorts of crazy things that I can do. This Harley Quinn superpower is self-actualization. After years spent working in the shadow of others, she's now unleashing the true Harley on Gotham. It's more like just a mental, like a confidence that maybe she didn't have before. It was cool because this is a, uh, we, we got to do a fresh take. Initially, the team simply worked from what we'd seen from Harley before. The same kind of haircut, the same kind of clothes, even having her more closely tie in with Gotham Knight's unruly freaks gang. You burn now, grass. No one will mow you ever again. I'm a professor of setting stuff on fire. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash. Her art director, Jan Lee Wu, said that design was fairly far along before the team was told to scrap it and try something new. The criteria we were giving was to make her really fresh, 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 new and, and iconic. That was one of those keywords yeah. I remember from going through that process. She's more herself than she's ever been in her imagination in our Gotham. She has taken this opportunity to say, I am actually a bad person. She's the ugly guy. This is what you get when you have milk toast, easily triggered losers designing characters. They adopt the philosophy that if it ain't broke, break it. These types are only good, and I guarantee it, at setting money on fire and probably carry around towels to cover up naked busts because they'd sooner censor art than make it. And I don't have to talk shit. Just listen to these developers and their petty disdain for what came before them and will survive long after them. Oh, I gotta be zany. I'm your manic pixie. Like, like she doesn't need to be the manic pixie anymore. She is kind of gotten to a point where she knows who she is. She has a very clear sense of what her identity is. Implying Harley had no identity in dismissing previous incarnations as, quote, the manic pixie, your words, you boneheaded fuckworm, betrays your lack of understanding of a character that most might sum up with the word complex or complicated. It's literally making me sick talking about these types. To be frank, as intelligent as Dr. Harleen is, her choice to exist in one of fiction's most famous abusive relationships is anything but complicated. In fact, it might be exactly what some of us find so easy to identify with. People smoke cigarettes even though they know that they're bad for them. Bill Burr tells this joke about how most women can't name WNBA teams, but the ratings for reality TV shows will remain through the roof. Why, my nigga? Because we're real people, not dyed-haired wusses, spending all our fucking time writing what we hope people would call us in our Twitter bios. We all don't seek our media so PG that a priest would be bored by it. And the truth is that these sensitive and injured developers saw Pretty Harley and immediately put her into this box. Oh, I gotta be zany, I'm your manic pixie. Like, like she doesn't need to be the manic pixie anymore. She is kind of gotten to a point where she knows who she is. She has a very clear sense of what her identity is. Oh, look at this manic pixie bitch. The pretty successful Harley that people love, they hated it enough that they decided to go in for a fresh new direction. No, oh, they're going to make her ugly, probably after considering making her what they referred to as Latinx. Like the video, because I have nothing kind to say about these people. This is easily one of the ugliest Harleys that will ever exist historically. What was easily one of the top three feminine Halloween outfits of all time. This is what Batgirl was. It was them shutting down some shit because people are literally trying to hate and destroy this thing that came before them. Harley is beloved. 
You said it yourself, so beloved, that it's appreciated by people who wouldn't even call themselves Batman fans. Other intelligent developers know to represent the truly iconic styles as alternative skins that people will actually buy in their multiverse game. A 30-year-old design from a cartoon. A representation so adored by men and women alike, regardless of their age or race or sexual identity. People going back to a decade-old game to celebrate these looks. People are modding these looks into video games right now. That's what the fans are doing. But WB Montreal is so insane that they're trying to tell people what's iconic because y'all decide that? It's like when Volition was arguing with their fans before their joke of a Saints Row game came out. Who could have seen that coming? Review so bad that it tanked Embracer Group stock. It's like when Marvel's Avengers was getting roasted a full-ass year before it came out over its Chinese knockoff heroes, only to end up years after release not releasing any content unless it's MCU skins or bikini skins. My firm assertion is that anyone who thinks Harley would just become the Joker in his or Batman's absence doesn't understand Harley as a character. And the most offensive and honestly repulsive aspect of this Harley design is that I know the target demographic that these developers hope to appeal to are people who don't quite look like a man, don't quite look like a woman, but are somewhere in between because that's how they see trans people. These things betray how they see the world. The game really couldn't handle any more stress, in my opinion, without buckling under its own weight after the slow-paced, no-counter, garbage combat with people standing around waiting for their turn to engage with you as if it was the first day that you were ever acquainted with this fucking AI. This is a shame. Me catching people A-posing in the background when only four people are engaging people in a fight when it's supposed to be a co-op game. We haven't seen any of that co-op footage. This is going to run like ass. It's going to play like ass. It's, it's ass. So maybe I should be thanking you for not wasting a good design in this garbage. But I can't pretend I'm anything other than shocked. Every time I see and hear the kinds of people that could do something so hard like making a comic book character unattractive. Congratulations, you're gifted, but for all the wrong reasons. The Joker was always a mirror to Batman. Harley is a whoever steps up as a new Dark Knight. Hell, if they want to be the new protectors of Gotham City, well, they're going to need a villain. They're going to need a nemesis. And who better to do it than me? I understand how the game is played. Who better to do it than me? Who better to do it than me? Who better to do it than me? I understand how the game is played. If you watch this far, I thank you and appreciate you. I think Warner Bros. is aware that this is not good and I eagerly await the next tumble down the stairs this game makes when it should just shut the fuck up at this point just shut up absolutely love hearing people open their mouth and try to pat themselves on the back breaking their arm jacking himself off talking about inclusion and diversity and fresh and iconic bitch you don't decide that maybe you should hire some real people with a social life. Hire a drag queen. Hire a trans person. The key, the key here is that they have friends. And that they're not in the same stupid ass circles as you bro. Because they don't want to see these ugly representations. And you'd know that if you looked out a fucking window. A TikToker you're not. An Instagrammer you're not. You're not looking at Twitch or Twitter or anything that actually gets people watching it because as broad and normy as some of that shit is it does represent what people want this nah nah bro and i can't wait to tear this game a new asshole because who the fuck are you people you're the assassins of art that's what you are and you can't be you can't be an artist without edge sorry Take this shit somewhere else. Sorry. Pathetic.